Well, what if you decide that you would like to use force against force? Not a good idea. You know, when the hour came for Jesus to be captured and taken away, Peter decided to use force against force. And he took out his sword and he cut off the ear of the high priest's servant. And Jesus did two things. Jesus, first of all, healed the ear and restored the ear and the hearing and possibly blood loss and completely made the high priest servant whole or healed. The second thing Jesus did was rebuke Peter. And he said, Peter, if you want to live by the sword, you will die by the sword. So let's watch a little clip from this movie and see another Peter taking out his sword and trying to use his sword, his little tiny sword, against the big sword of the state. Nazi party single-handed. <laughs> Only two? <laughs> Sounds like cigarette. Feel up to a little surprise? Now another thing Jesus did when they came, he looked at them and he said, I was in the temple among you. I taught the people. I healed the sick. I fed the multitudes. And now you come to me with your clubs and swords and daggers? Do you see the great contrast between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world? There is no use in trying to do anything physical against an oppressive state or government. It might be something that rises up in the heart of, of a man or a woman to want to be bold like Peter, but it was foolish. And so we see in this clip, it was foolish to take on an oppressive government. Look for the great day when the Lord Jesus returns and he will take on any and every repressive government on the face of this earth. For we're told in Isaiah the government shall be upon his shoulders 
and of his kingdom there will be no end. Thank you for watching this video. End of video.